Hello from Pittsburgh. That's all. PNC Corporate Security and a bunch of cops over there waiting for us. And they're not even paying, well, they're not even paying attention to us. And um, they're just kind of like watching us. And we're going with the family to the bank. And uh, over there. Not even paying attention. Dumbasses. <laughs> So thankfully the heat uh, here in Pittsburgh is broke. It's a little, not too hot, not too cold. It was raining on cats and dogs earlier. Stooges.
rushing to the media that they were actually negotiating with the cruises when in fact they had only a public relations uh, person speak with them. Listen, with all due respect, we're, we're finished here. We were finished yesterday, we concluded. I'm not going to entertain any further commentary and discussion. No value for me to talk to you no, folks. No, we're asking There's you to actually ask oh, we're, somebody. We're finished here. Thank we're you very much. We're asking you to get somebody There is some value for the family, however. The family's driven 800 miles. There, there is some value in the family having some further clarity on why the bank wouldn't work with them. Is there any way that you can pass on a message again to executives upstairs? We're happy to wait. We're not here to disrupt your business. We're happy to wait for an executive. Is it possible? Is it possible you could just pass that message on? Let me explain something to you. I'm going to make this very official. You're all put on notice. You're not to enter any of these PNC properties. If you enter a PNC property, we're going to ask the police to arrest you for criminal trespass. To find criminal trespass. We're, we're, not, so, we're not entering the property. I know. Sir. You, we're on sir, we're sir, you, public property. You may not be, but we have others from Occupy Pittsburgh that have articulated that the family has the family has so much so I am, the I am explaining to you right now if you go anywhere into our properties you will be arrested I'll ask the police to arrest you for defiant criminal trespass would it be easier to call the executive down to just meet with the family sir we are through with all due respect well we're not we're through you can be through but the family's not through the family would like to stay in their home and they'd like a good faith negotiation so we're happy to wait until we get that
Taylor since since Dan Taylor's the one that's offered to since if Dan Taylor would have come down and asked you to leave, like, you would listen to that. We need to get her badge number. I'll get a badge number. You want to get a badge number? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll wait till she comes back. I want to. I I can just ask her. If I get identified yourself as a Pittsburgh police officer, can I have a badge number? So uh, what we have here is uh, the lady in brown over here has identified herself as an undercover uh, police officer and um, right now is waiting for word uh, to see what PNC Bank wants to be done with us right now. There quite possibly could be arrests. They could just tell us to move. Um, Mexican standoff, baby. She was. She was walking around there for Scotty taking pictures. This undercover officer over here in the brown also uh, has been walking around discreetly, taking our pictures and stuff. Um, she has identified herself as a city of Pittsburgh police officer and uh, trying to get a badge number when she comes when and if she comes back. We are also told that even though we are account holders, um, we are permanently banned from any P PNC property and will be arrested the minute we set foot in a bank. Therefore, anybody from Occupy Pittsburgh that is a PNC holder, or sorry, PNC customer, would be subject to arrest and um, trespassing charges. Okay, those of you guys just tuning in, we're back here at PNC with the uh, Cruz family here in Pittsburgh. Um, basically told that they're not going to talk to us, everything's over and done with. We were then threatened by someone uh, claiming to be an undercover City of Pittsburgh police officer and that we are all permanently banned from PNC despite um, if we have an account or not. And would be subject to arrest even going in to like put money in our fucking accounts. Yesterday, just so we have more footage and audio of it or something. That's good to recap. that they probably didn't have no idea we were coming. Um, but they're 
told that uh, the decision yesterday, <clears throat> which uh, which was that PNC can't fix it, and that came from a PR executive, not from an executive in the mortgage division who actually did to fix it. But the PR department said they're done with this and they're not going to look into it further. And the request today was, is there an actual executive who is in the mortgage department who has the ability to actually, to actually fix this? Can we get a meeting with them and have them explain to us why, after driving 800 miles with all of the documents to prove that the family can pay, um, why they wouldn't be interested in meeting with us? We weren't given an answer. We were just told that PNC's decision is final. Um, we've asked them to relay the message to the executives again that we do intend to get a meeting with somebody who will look at this in good faith. And we're waiting to see what PNC's response is. Also, we've been told that if we were to trespass PNC property, they would ask for the police to arrest the scene. Uh, well, you're technically customers of PNC. Yeah, right? you can see the customers like just getting in, not getting arrested. This is interesting that they're willing to, to arrest people for stepping one foot on public property. This bank has the ability to fix this. Rather than spending that energy on mobilizing police and public resources, which is used you guys can see there's, there's public servants across the street being paid to protect the interests of the 1%. And we're clearly peaceful. We have no intention of violence or dis disrupting business of any kind. And we just want a good faith negotiation. And it's amazing that the city of Pittsburgh is being forced to spend public money for an effort like this. I'd actually, I, I, I would suggest that the city of Pittsburgh do an audit to find out how much in the last few days was spent on defending PNC's resources from a, a family here on a very peaceful mission to keep their money. I think the city of Pittsburgh likely has much better uses for that money than defending the interests of the most privileged folks in the world. So yesterday when you met, you basically met the head of PR and the head of security. No, I'm not with that. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, they, they, just by driving 800 miles across the country, uh, it was a meeting with executives that had no ability to fix this. It was very clear from the beginning that they have to sign a media release, a privacy release form specific to the media so that they can create their own narrative about how they have done everything right and the family has done everything wrong. Right. And the family wisely decided not to sign that. That was the only piece of uh, negotiation that was even offered to the family. There was really very little talk about how to correct this. Do you have a copy of that paper that talks about you signing? It's a good question. Um, we can try to track that down. Is that a city of the city? Alright. So we have a standoff here. PNC is refusing to speak to us or the Cruz family. There is an undercover police officer here that's basically told us um, he's arrested. Yep. Um, PNC has said even if we are customers, we set foot in their bank one more time, they will arrest us for trespassing. Even though the last several times myself and everyone else has been here to PNC, at no point did we try and enter the bank. 
or their corporate offices. Uh, the Cruz family were invited in there yesterday. I talked to a PR guy and a security guy, and they were basically told to go pound salt regarding PNC's error that resulted in the foreclosure of their home. PNC's exact quote was, this kind of happens all the time. Um, it's a third party. It's not our problem. And even if it was, we're not inclined to help you at this point in time. So right now we're waiting to see what the uh, PNC people are going to do with this undercover cop here. Got a chat box open if you want to uh, start chatting. I know, I wish we had our banner ready. <laughs> Never gonna get these other Never gonna let you right there. Never gonna turn around. Can you turn on my uh, cell phone? Oh. You got something going on here? We still go to jail. We still go to jail. So you know I'm, cla I'm classy when I got home stream. Pick your finger up. Word. Bank, anything we sign up and do, they show us right, especially the college. You know what I'm saying? Especially the college. We're going to go in here and uh, probably yeah. talk too loudly, but we're going to go down through and take a look at the, uh, those artifacts. Uh, this, uh, over the years, was one of the, the major uh, retail streets. I just still remember as a kid that uh, with the department stores, you'd be blown up here three or four abreast. Of course, the buses would up and down here. <laughs> so we have a tour that's going to be allowed to go into the bank, but we are not allowed to go into the offices. Standoff, baby. And this here is the standoff. I got a really uh, weird feeling about this today. Uh, Vicky, if you're watching, uh, I love you if this goes south. Funny thing is, they, uh, the cop had mentioned they might arrest us for standing here. There's a tour group right over there that is just kind of standing there, and they were complaining about um, us being moved. And uh, right now we have PNC uh, corporate security talking to the undercover cop in the uh, ground there. Um, it's interesting. Uh, no. You're all good. Okay, we might have some action going on here. Um, security just said something. The under the undercover officer is going inside the building right now. 
so is all the security. I got a really weird feeling about this. Oh, we're just gonna watch this from the inside. And a tour guy, tour groups going in. Chat box is open. You three viewers that are probably your cops. So talk to me. Keep me entertained while we uh, just enjoy this flag. Oh hell yeah! Can't seem to see where the undercover cop went. Um, of course, usually when I have viewers like I do right now and no one's talking in the chat, I suspect um, City of Pittsburgh. Hey, fourth viewer, thanks for tuning in. What you're seeing right now is a standoff between the Cruz family, members of Occupy Pittsburgh, and PNC Bank. You missed all the fun earlier when PNC basically said this is over. They don't care what we do standing out here. And then a undercover police officer identified herself and uh, told us with uh, PNC security that they indeed, if we try to go into their banks, even if we are customer um, customers of the bank, we will be arrested for trespassing and um, all that stuff. Then the cop identified herself and said, basically, we are on, in not so many words, borrowed time. And if PNC decides to remove a, want us removed, she will enforce that and um, probably just be trespassing charges or something. But, yeah. Now we have. Right, five years. I, I still got a weird feeling about this one. Yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very sketch, very sketch today. I mean, the cop was basically saying that we had already made a determination of disrupting people getting in, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I still want to give her badge number. Did, did anyone do that? No, I was waiting for her to come back over and we all got caught up in whatever. She, if she comes back out, I'll be like, yo, get your badge number. I knew she was a cop the first time we saw her. Yeah, she looks really sketch. That guy with the... I don't think that other guy with the lights show was, was super I think he was just like a... Yeah. Okay, we got some extra viewers here. We're in a standoff with uh, PNC Bank right now, and uh, the city of Pittsburgh police is on scene. An undercover officer took all of our pictures. We're not allowed in their banks anymore, blah, blah, blah. So, um, we're just standing out here waiting for Dan Taylor to come down and talk to us. Dan Taylor is the guy who was on this very feed, or my feed promised they were trying to rectify the situation for the Cruz family and trying to work with the family and reach out to them and yesterday they pretty much told the family go pound salt it's not our problem it's a third party this stuff happens all the time we're not going to help you and we don't want to help you um, we're being watched at all angles too Hello, multiple viewers. I do have a chat box open if you want to ask questions or talk to me, keep me entertained. 
new viewers, same thing i said a minute ago, we're in a standoff right now with the city of pittsburgh police and pnc bank. they will not talk to the cruz family or us. sorry man. Just chilling outside of a bank, waiting for the cops to come back out. The undercover cop that did speak with us uh, was not happy with us being here and pretty much made it a point to say that we can be arrested at any time for trespassing. It's just on PNC's goodwill that we're here. Somebody go get a tent. This is so absurd that this bank will not even talk to us and is just like staring at us on the other side of the windows. So PNC, are you watching my feeds yet? Come on PNC, you can talk to me in the chat window. Nectar with the gods. <laughs> yeah, they got the they got the. What's going on? Um, um, I it's so mighty. I gotta go pee, and you know what happened? What? I'm walking out of the Hey, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, super brief. Hey, you right now? They normally do because I'm assuming all my eight are inside there watching right now. now tries to get my contact information because he wants me to be a music. I said, yeah, there are two people, then there are two cops standing there watching me. Yeah, it's probably, it's a shame that, see, that's one reason why it would be nice to own a a live stream server bank because then you'd have access to the IP. Yeah. Oh, dude, uh, we got, I got an external now. Vicky's gonna hook me up with an external hard drive. Oh, nice. No, no, I didn't mean that. I just meant uh, running our own live stream, basically, where you have control over the. You can see which IPs with the viewers. Oh, stuff. yeah. Alright, so I got a couple new viewers in here, aside from the PNC people that are watching this feed right now, or any uh, law enforcement that are watching this feed. Uh, chat window is open. Please chat with us. We're happy to answer any questions or talk to you. Um, we are in a standoff right now with PNC. Yesterday, the Cruz family came here to talk about their 
problem with uh, the PNC Air that resulted in the foreclosure of their home. They were given the PR guy and the security guy to talk to, um, and not Dan Taylor, who is on public record as saying he was trying to help and rectify the situation. We were then, um, our pictures were taken by an undercover city of Pittsburgh police officer who then identified herself, pretty much saying that at any point in time, PNC can have us arrested for standing outside here for uh, trespassing. At that point also, the head of security, that's Jim right there, at the closest to the window on his cell phone, um, he had informed us that we're all permanently banned from any PNC property, even if we are account holders. And if we still, the minute we set foot in, on their property or in their property or in one of their financial institutions, we would be arrested immediately for uh, criminal trespass and a few other things. So this is where we're at right now. Um, there is City of Pittsburgh Police inside PNC Bank right now. There is multiple security people watching us from the windows here at PNC Bank, and I assume there's a bunch of you that work for PNC watching this feed right now. So hey, I don't mind right now. We're in a Mexican standoff with the police and uh, PNC Bank. They're not. They're not talking to us. Um, this is just like really super sketch today. family in uh, Occupy, Minnesota, live streamer over there, PNC in there. Seriously, where's T-Bone? We need the bone. Troll bone. Uh, gay bone. Just give, him, just, just give him some crack. Send him on his land. Crack. He's like, hey! There we go. Get like a, like we could get the cruise family. Uh, You're low, kiddo. Sorry. Alright. I haven't been low. Like I have, I have no money for cigarettes. It's weird. It's weird. I've had money lately. If anybody watching is close, we need cigarettes down here outside of the PNC building, PNC Plaza Three. Miss you. Miss you already. <laughs> I hope the city of Pittsburgh got, got my good side when they took my picture. I did turn around and say hi to them as they were taking my pictures. A funny, funny story too. Before we went live here, we actually gathered um, down down that alley there in Market Square. At which point, PNC security and a bevy of uh, Pittsburgh police officers were waiting to see what we were, where we were going, and all that stuff. And then informed us when we got here today that they didn't know we were coming, which is a crock of shit. They came down right through that alley there as we were walking up to uh, the bank property here and proceeded to threaten us and blah blah blah. Big ass building. PNC Bank also building a uh, multi million dollar green skyscraper um, here in Pittsburgh. Uh, actually, not too far, actually, right over there. Up there at the corner, past that there tree, they're going to be building a um, multi billion dollar skyscraper here in Pittsburgh. They just bought another building just to put 800 executives in. And, um, yeah. This is absurd. People should not be like this right now, standing there watching us through glass windows. They should just come out and talk to us. And um, all, all we're here for is for them to make make right on one of their fuck ups. I don't 
see the undercover officer in here anymore i assume um she's been taken inside well she went inside i assume she's up in an office right now watching this feed i just got a really weird feeling about all this today so the cruise family is um, just standing here waiting for someone for dan taylor to come out and talk to him dan taylor not even two weeks ago stood right there where that pillar is and told us that they are trying to rectify the bank error reaching out to the family to correct it and make it right and then yesterday they get here and they're told pretty much we don't give a shit it's just not right so if you got time come on down here to pnc3 Bring some cigarettes. We got some. We got enough water here for everybody. Bring a friend. Bring a friend. Phone a friend. Spread it out on Twitter. Bring a tent. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. Bring a tent. Hell yeah, I had a load, man. More the merrier down here. More the merrier. Be making PNC Securities Day right now. They just get to hang out in the lobby, lean up against the counter, and fucking stare out the front window all day. You know, I'm not one to speculate on what a PNC uh, corporate security guy does, but probably a lot of solitaire, probably a lot of Facebook, and walking around feeling important. They get to wear some cool khakis. You know, you know, you fucking made made it in life when um. You're just hanging out in khakis all day. I have no idea what I'm talking about, so just whatever. exciting it's gonna be a hell of a Rust Belt radio show uh, next Monday too uh, on uh, 88.3 WRCT Pittsburgh uh, which uh, myself and uh, Nigel Perry and several other people um, in the community work on we uh, just actually aired the uh, initial piece this past Monday where Dan Taylor made the promise that um, they were trying to rectify everything and Da, 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 da. And um, we're just gonna <laughs> blow. I uh, can't. I shouldn't say that with cops watching this. Um, nail them to the wall with the next Rust Belt radio story. This is a really, really touching and tragic story. Yeah, she doesn't put. She's got a real face. Fifteen banks were downgraded today because of standards and pores. Uh, where, where's PNC place on that list, Idolon? Do 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 do. 
This guy looks so fucking bored right there with the khakis just leaning on the desk. Oh yeah, he's a, he's, he's a mall guard. Uh, nah, he's part of the crew. He's just like, fuck, I can't tweet, I can't Facebook right now. Yep, he's a mall guard making what, nine or He looks like hour. a solitaire player. <laughs> 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 he's like wishing these were on the overnight shift. Oh yeah, all he's thinking in his head right now is goddamn protesters. Probably missing, <laughs> missing his blood. They're all probably missing their lunch hours right now. Chairs, or maybe a lot of sit on them. Jim, are you watching my feed right now? Probably. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim, will you sign my he back check he for me? Is <laughs> <laughs> he watching it? Yeah, dude, I bet you all six out of the seven viewers are PNC employees right now. You guys are having a blast, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, Jim, we're going to order some pizza, oh, man. You want some? They're yeah, dude, they're fucking. <laughs> Can you hold this for one second? I yes, I can. Charge the battery. Okay. Because she was looking down at a computer behind there, and dog goes, Jim, are you watching my feed right now? And he kind of chuckles at himself. And just like walked around the corner and was like, that's hilarious. I've been talking to him for like 20 minutes, or sorry, 47 minutes. Go ahead. Tell him the story. You know how I feel about holding banners. Oh, you think I'm I can't be walking in. Oh, man. Jim, Jim, Jim. Watching my view. Hey, uh, Jim and everybody at PNC and everybody that's watching, I'm going to power down for a minute to uh, plug in. Yeah, 